Hey yo, I'm Colby from Sanitarium Productions. Today we have another G.I. Joe vehicle review for you. Specifically, we're taking a look today at the 2014 convention exclusive uh, Eco Striker. We've got uh, a nice one here that's uh, still sealed in the back still sealed in the bag from the convention itself uh, so what we're going to do is just uh, unbag it take a look at it put it together and do a quick review for y'all so should be pretty cool it's a nice vehicle stick around so this is the convention exclusive eco striker which is the all-weather environment striker in the uh, the Echo Force kind of color scheme. This came bagged from the convention, uh, much like all the rest of their figures do. So we're just going to slice it open. Just a little piece of tape here is all there is. And then fold the bag and pull the stuff out. And we throw the bag away. So, uh, accessory-wise, we have the uh, Eco Striker itself, which uh, comes pre-assembled. We have the front grill, and we have this nice bag accessory kit. So let's open this accessory kit up. In the accessory kit, we have this really cool looking uh, grappling hook thing with this cool string on it. <laughs> uh, press it in, push the button, and it fires. It does what it's supposed to do. Uh, it looks kind of silly, <laughs> but that's uh, kind of what it is though. Um, so, yeah, it works. So, assembly wise, uh, this thing comes pre assembled pretty much, and all the stickers are pre applied, so you don't have to worry too much about that, which is nice. No instructions for how to put this thing together, but uh, luckily it's pretty simple. You pretty much just have this peg here in the cannon and a peg hole in the top canopy. It just snaps in place, and that much is done for the front. Uh, bumper attachment uh, there's this little tab thing on the front and you just kind of put this in place like this it just snaps on there like that and that's pretty much all the assembly is uh, other than that you're done which is kind of uh, a shame because I really like putting these things together but it is what it is so let's take a look at some of the uh, features of this thing. It has the Echo Force logo on the front. comes in this nice yellow and blue color scheme. You got pegs for figures to stand on on the side. Fits two figures in the cockpit. And it's got this cool looking uh, camera doohickey. I guess that's to uh, sight in your cannon up here at the top. It does move up and down. It does not turn left or right. see if we can get in here and take a look at the cockpit uh, so it does have a steering wheel attached in here steering wheel does turn up and down slightly but it does turn got independent suspension in the front so it does turn and up and down and some cool stuff like that it's got a little bit of suspension in the back but not a lot but uh, yeah pretty nice on the back, it has the uh, same feature as all the rest of our AWE strikers. The uh, engine cover is removable. It's just really hard on this one since they've got this uh, extended uh, roll cage built into this thing. But you can pop this thing off if you want. I don't know how you're going to do that, but... Uh, I guess just uh, stick your finger under there and uh, push up on it and it pops off and 
with a little bit of wiggling around you can get it to come off uh, and there's some nice detail work on the engine itself but uh, we're not going to bother too much with that it's the same as all the rest of the aw strikers just with a new paint deco so some comparison shots here we have our trusty beachhead figure so the vehicle itself is a little more than one figure width uh, it's about one and a quarter from tip of the tire to tip of the tire and let's start this way so lengthwise we've got one about two figure lengths long uh, the figures do fit in here pretty easily just kind of bend their legs in a little bit and just kind of ram them in there you may have to squeeze in there with the other side with your finger to get them in there they sit in there very nicely very easily lots of room for them to kind of go about their business so this will hold uh, two figures in the cockpit two on each side and two on the rear so two four six figures total if you uh, are counting the detail work is uh, the same as you should expect from all the rest of the strikers so it's really good nice little doom buggy for these uh, Joe's to tool around in. So yeah, it's a uh, pretty simple but uh, really effective. It's uh, kind of funny to note this came out as part of the uh, Zombie Initiative convention series, um, and they snuck a lot of the Eco Force figures into that. Um, I'm assuming because since the uh, Z formula kind of thing is kind of like a um, it's a virus is pretty much what they're saying so EcoForce deals with environmental threats which include viruses and things like that so that's kind of why they did what they did um, overall it's a pretty nice vehicle if you really like the EcoForce it goes very well with them uh, if you're like me and prefer the zombie initiative side of things uh, it's a little garish and stands out a little bit more I would have liked to have seen some slightly more subdued colors and maybe some, I don't know, zombie prints on this thing somewhere or something like that. But uh, if you're into customizing, that's something you can easily do to this to kind of make it pop a little bit more. All in all, it's a pretty nice vehicle though. So if you can find one for a fairly decent price, go ahead and pick it up. It is uh, pretty awesome. Again, um, there's been a lot of these uh, strikers put out, so it's nothing new that we haven't seen before. It's a nice reuse of the mold that they have. Uh, very cost effective. So yeah, it's pretty nice. So. so that's it for our review for the 2014 convention exclusive Eco Striker. Uh, this thing is pretty much just a repainted version of the original AWE Striker that came out in the 25th anniversary line and they've had many iterations since then so the detail work, the actual function of the vehicle should not come as any surprise to anybody that has one of those past vehicles. Uh, the color schemes work really well for the Eco Force line. Uh, the whole zombie initiative thing did a really good job of incorporating those kind of uh, obscure figures into a more uh, mainstream arena, I guess I would say. Uh, it seems a little odd to have eco-warriors fighting against zombies, <clears throat> but when you think about it and the fact that it's supposed to be like a virus outbreak and the eco-warriors are environmental fighters and things like that, it, it does follow along pretty well and it actually works pretty well in that situation. So The color schemes work really good here as well. Uh, the blue and yellow is a little bit odd in terms of what we would normally think of as a zombie apocalypse, but when you add into the fact that it's a, you know, a strike force, it actually works pretty well. It's very recognizable color scheme anyway, so, uh, it's pretty cool. So, if you haven't picked one of these things up, uh, you can get them pretty cheap right now, so, Go out there to look for it and see what you can find and see if it meets your price point. If it does, go ahead and pick it up. I don't think you'll be disappointed with it. So, uh, so that's pretty much it for today. So, thanks for watching. Check out some of our past videos. 
stay tuned for some new videos coming down the pipe. Uh, drop us a comment. Let us know what you'd like to see in future episodes. And till next time, yo, Joe.